Aldine Sciences. I am Talisha Smith, uh, Elementary Science Skills Specialist with Aldine ISD. I am here today to introduce to you the triple beam balance and the use of the triple beam balance as well as a double pan balance as well. So I'm going to begin with the triple beam balance. So the first thing that you must do when you are using a triple beam balance is you have to make sure that your triple beam balance is zeroed out. In order to do that, you use the knob here until you have it zeroed out. Okay, I believe we are there. So now, let's go ahead and we are going to measure the mass of a cube here today. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure all of my weights are over to the zero mark. We're going to begin with our 100s weight. And you, we're going to move it to make sure that it's oh, sitting no. in a groove. If it goes all the way down, then we are going to move it back. That means that the, the 100 grams is too heavy for the cube, so I'm going to move it back. Now I'm gonna start with my tens place. And it looks like our cube is less than 10 grams. So I'm gonna move that one back as well. So now we're going to move with our ones place. And I'm gonna use my pencil, my pen to move my ones place. And again, remember we are trying to get it to zero out. Okay, and we're gonna it, we're gonna look at our measurements now, and it looks like our cube weighs approximately six point nine grams, and this is how we would use our triple beam balance. For the double pan balance, we are looking to make sure that our pans are balanced. So if you look here in the middle, this means that our pans are balanced. So I am going to use marbles and I'm going to use a cube. We're going to see which one of our objects are the heaviest or has the heaviest mass. Okay, you can see just from the demonstration here that our marbles weigh more than our cube. You can also use weights. Weights will tell you the actual weight of the object that you have on your double pan balance. So I have here, I have 10 gram weight, and I also have a one gram weight. So let's begin with our 10 gram weight. Oops. So our 10 gram weight is actually heavier than our cube. And let's try our one gram weight. And we can see here that our one gram weight is smaller than our uh, blocks cube here. So with that being said, you can tell that your block is in between one and 10 grams. We do not have the exact amount at this moment. And that is where you use your triple beam balance to get the exact mass. And this is how you would use the double pan balance and our triple beam balance. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha.